Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about the next several videos that I'm filming here. This is all going to be about renting, leasing, having your own facility, and I'm going to share a lot about what I know from personal experience, what I've seen, and what we've coached hundreds of coaches on over the past seven years that have been in spots where they don't have a facility, they do everything outside, some do have a facility that they lease from, some just rent out from churches or schools or organizations. And we're going to talk about the differences with everything. I'm also going to try to give you some really important things to consider and think about before you make decisions like this. This way you have all the information at your fingertips. The intent is you watch these episodes in order, because if you start on video five, it's not going to really make sense unless you watch the first couple of videos. So today, this is a question that I get asked all the time. And I just wanted to create this video to just make this like a, a, a one and done type of response. This has to do with you renting. Coaches will ask me all the time. They'll say, hey, I have a facility that I can run my sessions at and they will let me do it for free as long as they take ownership, they, they have a percentage of ownership in my business. I have seen so many coaches that have gotten caught in this trap, which is, hey, don't give us any money, like you can train as many hours as you want here for free, but every single session you run, we're gonna get 30% or 40% of all of the revenue. The reason why this is a terrible deal for you, it's because at the beginning, you might be like, oh man, this is awesome. Like I don't have to pay any rent. So there's zero risk. But the problem is every single hour that you're working, you're giving a percentage of that to someone else who's not doing any of the work. And when you run the numbers, you're going to see it's going to be way more profitable for you to go spend the money on rent versus doing it at a place for free if they own a percentage of your business. And here's some proof, all right? Every single coach that I've ever talked to that has done that, I always follow up with them in like a year and I'm like, Hey, are you still there? And they're like, Nope. I'm like good. Your, your business is way more profitable now. Even if you're spending like a thousand or $1,500 per month on rent or even more than that, because I always ask these coaches when I talk to them on the phone, I say, Hey, if you start making $10,000 per month and they own 40% of your business, that means they're going to make $4,000 per month off of your work. And they're not doing anything to get you any clients. They're just giving you a place to do it. So don't you think it's going to make more sense to find a place that's $4,000 per month or less <laughs> to be able to operate your business and own 100% of the income? All right. So this is one of those things. So many coaches get trapped in these deals where because it's free rent or it's like real low cost and then that facility owner is getting money on the back end of your business. Please don't do it. If you're watching this video, never do it. It's never going to make sense long-term. Like maybe if you do that short-term for like two months and cause you need a place to go and, and operate out of sure. But long-term it is never going to be a good business move for you because the second you start making more money, they start making more money too. All right. Cause their percentage is it's going to stay or possibly it's going to increase cause they can renegotiate the terms whenever they want. If they see you have, 30 kids per hour in your sessions, uh, they might say, yeah, we like, if you want to keep doing it here, we need 50% of the revenue. And this goes along with one-on-one -on -one training, group training, camps, or clinics, this partnership thing where they get a percentage. It is not a good deal for you. I'm very one-sided on this because I've seen enough people who have done that. And then the second they break away from that, their businesses are more profitable and they just go rent something that is like, way, way, way cheaper than the amount that they'd be given these facilities at, at a partnership. Watch our next episode that I'm going to post, and that's going to be very detailed for you if you want to learn more about leasing versus renting. All right. So if you want to learn more about that, come back, watch the next episode. If you have any questions for me about growing your business, scroll down in the link in the description. Somewhere there, you're going to see my phone number. Just send me a text. I'd love to chat with you and uh, hope this video helped.